So you're telling me that right now in Madden 20, we could be preparing for Madden 21? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. And I'll tell you right after the beep. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on hotrod.tips. If you guys are looking to win more games in Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? And yes, I did mean when I said when I answered my very own question that you can be preparing for Madden 21 right now. So this is something I did last year going from 19 to 20. And I felt like it helped me. It helped me prepare for the new game. So something I want to do again. Basically, what we do is we base everything off of the beta. We had the beta for like three days. Now, if you did play it, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. If you didn't play it, you can just pay attention to what I'm talking to. It'll make sense for you also. I'll make sure of that. So Basing it off the beta, you're able to see what offense you like, maybe what defense you like, maybe a certain type of spacing. Now, playing on Madden 20, it's not going to be the exact same thing. The zones are going to play a little bit different. Maybe the routes play a little bit different. But overall, the spacing, the timing, you can get used to those things. And it's really going to help you going into the next year when you start using that offense again and you're already comfortable in the space and you're already comfortable with the timing. Trust me, I feel like it definitely helps. I did it in 19 to 20. And I've definitely, I definitely felt like it helped me make more reads early on in the game. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The offense we're going to be using is trips tight end i know it's weird right it's weird i feel like i haven't used trips tight end much at all this year very sparingly it's my offense from 19 and 18. Now, i felt like going back into 21 it's going to be really effective for me again so that's the offense i like that's the offense we're going to be using today let's look at the lineup starting off today i want to go over the personnel changes that i think could be important in trips tight end for madden 21. so we have rg3 with escape artist and high round master we have walter payton we have three wide receivers with julio as our activated receiver and we're actually activating evan ingram and we do not have the tight end apprentice or the route apprentice because we have high round master but we need that post flag elite the tight end is going to be very important i think for madden 21 especially in trips tight end because of the post routes the in routes the out routes and the corner routes all the above it's gonna be really important defensively I just think it's gonna be important to have great coverage for Madden 21. I'm not gonna be blitzing a ton today. I'm gonna be working on coverage, working on adjusting and trying to see how well I can do stopping the pass with only blitzing sparingly. I think timely blitzes are gonna be really important. We'll touch more on the gameplay on what I think is gonna be really effective in Madden 21 as we get into the game. We're gonna be using the Raiders offense. I feel like that's the best trip tight end for this year. And we have the Packers defense. That's it for the team. Let's get into the game. Here we go with game one, and I'm just excited to use trips tonight in the video. I feel like I haven't used it for you all in a long time. This should be a fun one. And we're gonna be starting on defense here, and our main focus is going to be, like I said before, playing coverage, but we can't do that against Moss, right? We cannot do that against Moss. Make a play, good knockout. We can't do that against Moss, but for the rest of the game, we're gonna be trying to play as much coverage as we can. I felt like that was the most effective thing in Madden 21. Blitzes were decent. They were decent when used sparingly. It's not gonna be something you're gonna be wanting to blitz every down, at least not early on in the game. So we're focusing on coverage here. And a bluff blitz this blitzing corner, try to get a three wreck out there. I like three wrecks. I like three wrecks a lot if they do a good job across the middle of the field. Oh, nice route, nice route. Ah, that's on, that's on me, that's on me. Something else I really wanna focus on is where my user's at on the field. A hot topic right now, a very hot topic is the users being a little bit slowed down in the Madden 21 beta. I personally like it. I like the slowdown user. I feel like it makes you adjust to what your opponent's doing and knowing where your user's supposed to be on a given play, right? So if you're out of position, they're probably gonna throw a completion. Now I like that. I personally like that. Some people didn't, that's cool. Everyone has their own their opinion. That's fine with me. I personally like it, but what I'm, what I'm trying to say basically is we need to focus on what our user is doing and try our best to figure out what our opponent's doing, make good pre-snap reads and go from there. And if we can, if we can practice on that, we can practice on that in Madden 20, going into Madden 21. We don't need to be on the game to practice our users, practice our pre-snap reads and practice our positioning. I mean, I'm sorry. I feel like I just rambled on for like 20 straight plays, but we're able to make a play with Ronnie Lott. I will take it. I will take it. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to give the best advice I can. Well, we took a delay game. Not really what we wanted to do, but again, we're just gonna be trying to figure out the spacing here on offense. We missed our post. We missed our post. We got to make the read. Again, timing, spacing. These are the things we're trying to figure out on offense right now. I'd like to get about half this back right here. We're looking for our wheel. We're looking for our wheel. There it is. There it is. We'll take that. Again, we just want half back right here. This is manageable. Oh, and Slanter Crosser right here. We should have one of them. Take this, take this most screen. That's fine. Make someone miss. Good job, Julio. Grab and go, baby. Grab and go. I'll take it. Hopefully, we can get our corner out in on the outside. Nope, we got to take the smoke screen again. This is fine. Something I also really liked in the beta was smoke screens and hitches. I felt like you grabbed them and you were out. You got a lot of good rack on them. But something else I actually want to try to throw a little bit more. Slanter post right here. Slanter post. At the slant. Nice catch, Tory Holt. We might better have Randy Moss on our seam right here. Nope. Ingram, I love post flag elite. 
Red zone and spacing is definitely something that you can work on going into the new game. We have our hitch outside. Nice job, Randy. It's definitely something you can work on because every single year it's the same thing. Red zone gets a little bit tougher simply because there's no room. The end zone pushes the defenders back into you. So learning something now that might work, it probably will translate to Madden 21. So it's definitely something you want to work on if you're not working on anything else timing wise and spacing wise. Again, we're going to this hitches concept with the corners on the outside. We had Randy. We had Randy. I missed it. Playmaker. Do we make a play? Let's see if we can make a play. Oh, I thought I had B. I thought I had B. That's okay. That's okay. We'll take our three. Again here defensively, I'm just going to try to play as much coverage as I can. Make the right adjustments. It honestly doesn't matter. When you get a shed like that, I love Michael Strand. When you get a shed like that, you probably don't have to make many adjustments. Speaking of sheds, honestly, I feel like the sheds weren't too crazy in the beta. They were good. They were decent, but they weren't They weren't like that. I didn't see much of that. Make a play here. Make a play here, Night Train. Knock it out. Let's go, Shanti. Let's go, Shanti. Oh, let's see if we can make a play. Let's see if we can make a play. Circle back. Oh, okay. That's fine. I want to play some offense. Our opponent's been running a lot of match. I hope this setup will work for it. We have our slant. We have our slant. Nice, 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 Tori. Finding setups for match is another thing that works from year to year because typically match is going to work the same thing. There's principles, there's rules to it. So if you can find some setups that work against match, they're probably going to work in Madden 21 as well. There's definitely things that you can be doing in this game that you can take the next year pretty much. So definitely something I'm trying to do. We should have our corner. Ingram, nice route. Once again, we're in the red zone here. This is where it gets a little bit tougher. You got to have Sorting route combos that work short without anything that you, you don't have anything to push the deep blues back because they're just going to sit in the back of that end zone. So you have to find short passes. That's, ooh, are they going to quit out? Okay, okay, they're not going to quit out. That's fine. You have to find short passes that work without having to have any clear out routes. So that's all I was saying. Now, this is one of the, I, I used it last possession. I'm going to use it again. This double hitch concept, I feel like works really, really well. We have Randy. We have Randy. Rack it up. I'll take the first down. I'll take the first down. I'm hoping this curl out from the running back can distract their user. They were all over it. They were all over it. Didn't do anything to distract him. It didn't work one bit. It didn't work one bit, Archie. Okay, it's not a touchback. It didn't work one bit. We'll take our yards. Third and goal. I feel like I have to try a run right here. Can we get in? Yes. Okay, I'll definitely take a 10-point lead going into halftime. I'm loving this trip tight end. I am loving this trip tight end. I'm having a great time. Let me relax. I know I'm getting excited. I know I'm getting excited, but anything Madden 21 related is just a ton of fun for me. I'm really excited for the game. I think it's gonna be a great year. I think it's gonna be a great year. So let me relax. I'm gonna stop yelling so much. I'll stop getting so excited, but I'm gonna run the ball here. I'm gonna try to get a first down and we'll try to tone it back just a little bit. All right, we got the first down. We didn't take any hit sticks there either. We're good to go. Let me chill. Not chill too much though. I mean, I do wanna be excited. We have our pulse, we have our pulse. I do wanna be excited. I mean. I do think it's gonna be a great year. Every year when a new Madden comes out, it's so much fun. I am really liking that setup against Match though. I feel like the post and the slant into really nice spacing. Nice job, Ingram. All of our players are just making plays. Our receivers, our tight ends, our running backs. They're just making plays and I love it. Looking poster slant again here. Got this. Oh, I thought we had the slant. Good defense. We might have Randy Moss in the seam right here. We don't, we don't. Let's see if we can get the first down. Nice rack, Walter. I think that's a first. Is that a first? Oh, it's a fourth down. All right, we have to go for this. We're going all short routes right here. Hopefully it works. We have Ingram. We have Ingram. Yes, let's go. Something else I really like to get used to is using a linebacker. I like that in the beta. Oh, nice route. Nice play. I really like using a linebacker in the beta, but I used her to safety this year, so I'm not really used to it. So that's something I want to get used to as well. Just trying to work on anything that I can work on that goes into Madden 21. Anything that will be effective, I want to try to do. Really good pocket presence by our opponent right there. Really good pocket presence to get outside. Bad user. Bad user. See, right there, that was a bad user by me. That's a play right there. That's going to be a completion in Madden 21 pretty much every single time. I got out of position. I need to work on making a good replay, making sure I'm in position after that play. All right, GG's on to game two. Here we go with game two, and I'm just excited to once again just try to keep getting better at the trips tight end on defense, not blitzing as much. We're just going to try to keep getting better. This should be a good one. Starting on defense once again. We have to continue to try to contain the run. And contain the fast, and that's a great start. Great shed. You know, since blitzing was so good this year, it does feel a little bit weird not blitzing as much, but it's better to get used to it now than it is to get used to it in Madden 21, right? I'm gonna continue to do my best on offense here, trying to make as quick a reads as possible. Get the ball out. Go, go, Walter. Go, Walter. Ooh, come on now, kid. That wasn't even that good of a move. It really wasn't. I didn't do much right there at all. Oh, we got a touchdown. Touchdown. Let's go. I think they accidentally ran commit right there, but that's fine. I'll take the touchdown. Now we have to try to lock up on defense once again. Contain the kickoff. Let's contain the kickoff here. Get a hit. Ooh. Got to watch this middle here. Got to watch the middle. One in route. Oh, nice read. Nice read. I'm manning up Y here to try to take away any corner routes. Then we have a three wreck. The way that you get a three wreck is just by bluff blitzing a player that's already blitzing. 
Nothing there. Oh, nice. Oh, nice knockout. Let's go. I'm not even sure who made that knockout. Oh, nice knockout again. We'll take it. The defense is just making plays. I'm not even really doing too much adjusting wise. They're just making plays for me. Slide. Don't take any hit sticks. Don't take any hit sticks. Back in the red zone here. We're going to what's been our bread and butter down here. We got nothing over it. We have nothing over right. Oh, we have some bread there, but no butter. Looking for the seam streak here. We should have Randy. We got Randy. Yes. You know, the more we're playing here, the more I'm... Oh, good play. Good play. Let's go. What I was saying was, as you know, that the more I'm playing here, the more I'm getting used. Oh, pop up. Oh, no. Wow. That was, that was awesome. That was awesome. All I was trying to say was, and I just keep not getting it out, is I'm getting used to the formation more. I'm remembering the things that I like, the concepts like, the route combos, the timing, the spacing. The more I play, the more I'm getting used to it. Now, defense, I haven't been doing the best job, but that's okay. We have a spy out there from Lawrence Taylor to take away anything across the middle as well as take away Randall Cunningham on the run. Good shit. Our players are just doing great. Our players are just making plays. No, I got stuck. I don't, oh, you only get stuck on a third down. That is not, that is not what you want to do. And that's exactly why. That's exactly why you do not want to get stuck on Chris Jones on the third down. I lurk anything over the right side. Oh, make a play, Cromarty. Nice catch. I need the defense to make one more play here. Make one more play. Maybe a hit stick. Maybe a hit stick. Ooh, Sean T. I thought that was going to be it from Sean T, but I'll definitely just take... Oh, the power. They didn't get enough power. What might have happened right there? Sometimes when you go for the absolute full power, you click it just at the wrong time, and then you end up getting zero power. So that's probably what happened right there. We'll take it. I guess that's the play from our defense, right? It's special teams, but it's still a play, and we'll take it. Now we're trying to score in the two-minute drill. Let's see. We have Ingram. We have Ingram. Next one, Miss Ingram. I'll take it. A little bit of our clock's been chewed here. We need to start to move a little bit faster. I think we have our post. Nice catch, Ingram. I really like this slant post concept. I feel like it's been our best concept all day. Ooh, I, that might have been a pick. That might, I was throwing the post. It might have been a pick. Hopefully, we can fit this crosser, this deep in right here. We got the in route. Nice route from Tory Holt right there. We have 16 seconds here. That should give us two shots at the end zone as long as I don't make any mistakes. Ah, just throw them all the way. That's our one. We have one more play, then we'll take our three. Looking for Randy in the seam. Not there. Nothing there. Don't take a sack. Don't take a sack. Make a play. RG, RG, make a play. Let's go. Starting off the second half here, we're going to be on offense. We don't want to make any mistakes. We want to continue to try to learn the offense, learn the timing, learn the spacing, not make any mistakes, do the best job we can. I think we might have our crosser right here. I really think we might. Let's see what they use her. Julio. Julio, baby. Nice. We're potentially looking to the end zone here, looking for our seam. Nothing, nothing. Run, RG. Run, RG. Slide. Don't take any hit sticks. Do not take any hit sticks. I feel like I have to say don't take any hit sticks. I've taken so many hit sticks throughout this year. I've taken them with quarterbacks. I've taken them with running backs. I've taken them with receivers. I don't like hit sticks on me. Plus, when I played football, I definitely did not like getting hit. I just can't. Oh, oh, big fourth down. We're going to take our three here, but I definitely did not like taking hit sticks as a kid. I did bring my collarbone. I broke my collarbone. A little tidbit for you. I broke my collarbone my first year playing. I played a few more years, but I definitely was scared of getting hit after that. I continue to play good run defense here. Knock that out. Knock that out, Cromarty. Oh, we got a pick. Let's go. Make a play. Come on, make a play. We'll take it. So far, I feel like I've been able to get used to this offense once again. I did use it for two years, so that does make sense. That I'll be able to get used to it pretty quickly, but I am liking the spacing a lot. And again, spacing I feel like is really key in Madden 21. This be able to spread out the defense because zones, because zones are going to be out there a lot because people aren't going to be blitzing a ton. So you have to be able to spread the defense out. If you're in compre compression, it might not be as good. Run RG, run RG, slide. You know, I feel like I get on these rants and these rambles where I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm sorry. It just, I get in these rants. I lose myself a little bit. All I was saying was I feel like coverage defense is going to be very prominent. So you have to be able to spread out the defense and do a good job of spreading out the defense with your offense. The spread sets. Ooh, I think we have it. Do we have it? Brandy spread sets trips on that. I think they're going to be very effective. And that's going to do it. GG's to our opponents. That was a ton of fun. I love using Trips Tight End again. I have two more videos planned for the preparing for Madden 21 series. We have one more where we focus on Trips Tight End. Then one more where we're going to be playing against a competitive Madden player who's a Twitch streamer. He's also going to be focusing a lot on YouTube this upcoming year. He's been on YouTube for a little bit, but he's going to be focusing a lot more on it. So that's going to be a fun one. You all will probably know them. If you enjoyed this and if you enjoyed these series, please remember like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace. I love me some trips tight end.